Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. We have a big storm on the horizon. You can see the temperature is slated to drop by 30 degrees down to negative 90 in just a matter of days. We're on day 38 and by day 42 we're going to be in the storm. We can see the storm in the distance actually and we can actually see that it is completely um, uncovered and engrossed Tesla City so far which means I don't think we're going to be getting any more steam cores. So we have one more that's on its way back, luckily. Made it before the storm took over Tesla City. But that's going to be our last one, and I hope our outpost team didn't die there in that city. I don't think I remembered to call him back, so oh well. Um, while we have this storm pressuring us too, we're going to hopefully be able to make it to this large crater in time, or we might lose our scout team. That would be a shame, but we're going to try to try our best to rescue him. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the speed up. And depending on uh, how quickly we get through things today, we might just do a longer episode and finish this game. So we've researched more efficient coal mining. Let's see, what else do we need to do? We have generator efficiency. We could get steam hub efficiency. That would be really good. I don't think we really need generator range. Um, our automatons are doing as good as we need. As far as resources goes, we have advanced coal mines. That's probably fine. We don't think we need anything new there. We have house insulation. Um, infirmary checklist is a nice to have, but I don't think it's super necessary. Healthcare insulation level two might be necessary. Um, as well as flying hunter's gear. So many things I want to research right now. Okay. I say so many things. There aren't that many things. Um, we really have one, uh, two, and three, and maybe four. Um, I think our first priority is not going to be insulation, because we can get insulation once it starts getting colder. Is Our first priority is going to be stockpiling resources. So in the spirit of stockpiling more resources, our first thing is going to be flying hunter's gear. Okay. There we go. Let's check the temperature. Make sure we're not in unintentionally freezing anybody. Okay, our scouts have returned safely to the city. Let's go and send them right back out. <gasps> we did lose our we did lose our scout team. Do you think we can make it to Camp Compass in time? I don't want to lose any more people on Camp Compass, so I actually I'm just going to disband this last scout team. I don't think they're going to be able to make it there and back before the storm gets them. And to be honest, I'm a little bit sad that we just lost our scout team to the storm. That was kind of negligent on my part. Okay, so we've saved everyone we're going to be able to save. 644 brave souls surviving this harsh, harsh winter. Alright, next thing we're going to get is steam hub efficiency upgrade. Perfect. So this district is fully automated, so this doesn't need to be heated. This district is heated perfectly. Um, what are not heated here are all the resource depots. Of course, we have advanced steel works, um, but we're not. We need to check this during work time. It's not work time. Okay. So we're gonna just press forward see if we can't make it just a few more days to the storm see how much uh, resources we can stockpile looks like we're going to want some more um, some more storage for coal looks like we're gonna definitely want some more storage for coal and we're gonna want some more storage for food as well and maybe some more hunters huts maybe some more hunters huts would not be a bad thing where is our current um, coal district right here let's build a couple more large resource depots there in addition food nope we want flying hunters huts hunters hangers they cost 40 wood wood is becoming a problem 
Not much we can do about that, to be honest. Okay, so it's work time right now. Okay, Captain, a woman has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. We'll follow the lead. Some supplies will be recovered. All right, so now that it's work time, let's check and make this... Ugh. Come on, game. Let's check the heating situation. This coal mine is freezing. Of course, I, I'm looking at the wrong, um, the wrong coal mines. These coal mines are heated currently, but they need to be because this heater is maybe doing double duty? Hard to tell. Are these houses going to be covered by that heater? Because these, these two coal mines are being worked by automatons. Oh, this one is not being worked by an automaton. So we still need this to be on. Let's get one more automaton up. Um, but other than that, all of our buildings are fine and well insulated. Okay, so we need to get one last automaton up and going. So we have one steam core left. Let's build one automaton. Perfect. Um, we're going to also build some more hunter's hangers here in our complex. Sure, two more should do the trick, and then we're going to use any last wood and whatever, whatnot that we get to um, do research and build resource depots. Um, okay, so we want to go to food and shelter. We want to get healthcare insulation for 120 wood, so we just need to save up to get 120 wood. We have a new event. Prayers at work, sir. The people employed at the factory refuse to work today. They intend to spend their entire shift praying. Uh, we've been working like madmen, sir, but there's only so much we can do to prepare. Let's face it, this is the end of the world. Through prayer, uh, we can find the hope of deliverance, whatever happens. Um, fine, we'll let them we'll let them pray. We don't have the, the other option unlocked. Okay, we're going to assign both of these to coal. We're going to have more storage for coal than we know what to do with. Um, with those two new hunter's hangers that we assigned... Oh, they're not built yet. When we do build them, of course, we're going to assign workers to them. And uh, now we really just want to be saving up wood. Wood is our big limiting factor. We have two wall drills working full time. We never got the upgraded versions of the wall drills, which is why our wood production is so slow. But we should have what we need now to get healthcare insulation. Infirmary checklists would be nice. Okay, we can assign our workers here and here. Perfect. Um, our food rations are at the limit, so we need to go to resources, large resource depot, and we need to find where all of our cookhouses are. I don't think, I don't know if it actually has to be close to where all the cookhouses are. I just think it makes sense to be near where the cookhouses are. So there the cookhouses are. We're going to then put our resource depots here, and can we build another one? We cannot. Not yet, at least. Not yet, at least. We'll go ahead and do one of these. We don't have enough wood for it. Okay, that's fine. Our food rations. Okay. Fight over supplies, sir, an argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, though nobody was seriously injured. The tensions are running high. Alright, keep me updated. Hopefully we can restore people's faith in this place by having enough stockpiled resources for everybody already. We're already managing that on our own. We've got six days worth of coal stockpiled. We've got eight days worth of food stockpiled. We're doing, we're doing okay. Okay, though, that being said, the temperature is dropping. The temperature is dropping for sure. Fear of the storm, a mob of storms the stockpiles. Sir, a crowd of terrified people has stormed the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies. We managed to fight them off, but they demanded wood for heating and to re reinforce their homes. We need 1,320 wood to supply everybody. 24 hours to get that much wood is not happening. The city comes first. 
we're not distributing that much wood. We need our wood to build stuff, and we're not going to be able to get that much wood anyways. We kind of dropped the ball on wood production in this game because we had so much more wood than we needed, than we knew what to do with at the beginning of the game. All right, so now that it's uh, minus 70 out, is this factory still not producing the automaton? Okay, now it's going to go produce the automaton for us. I would like... Okay, now that we have an automaton, to assign that last automaton to our coal mine. So all of our coal mines should be automated. So we can go to temperature, we can turn this off, and we can check the temperature around, uh, around everywhere. See which workplaces need to be warmer. So like our child shelter, we need to turn the heater on. Our workshops, we need to turn the heater on. I don't know necessarily if we want to turn the heater on in our workshops. We're almost done researching things. And that's a lot of coal. Our medical posts are doing fine. Um, in fact, unless we need the extra capacity, I'm just going to unemploy these doctors for the time being. We can always put them back. We have these medical posts built, but I'd rather people go to the infirmaries where our healthcare is better and more efficient than in the, uh, the medical posts there. Um, so the next thing we want to get is maybe infirmary checklists. Sure. Uh, we could always do with, of course, another resource depot. That sounds good. We can store some more food there. Perfect. More food. Um... Oh, we still have another steam level for the generator as well. So we're not completely working the generator at full power yet. We're about to hit negative 80 though tonight. So that'll be exciting. Oh boy. Here we go. Negative 80. Ouch. Our poor people. I would not want to live in this city. I would be staying indoors all day. This child shelter needs heat. Do we have enough capacity in all our child shelters? We have 145 children. And each child shelter has space for 15 children. I think we're doing fine. I think the game would tell us if we were actually running out. Alright, infirmary checklists have been researched, so our infirmaries are better. Um, we don't need our infirmaries to employ fewer people. I think it's fine the number of people our infirmaries currently employ. Resources. I mean, we got a sawmill upgrade. So we can build steam sawmills. No, we haven't even researched steam sawmills. Do we want to at this point? No. Let's get... Um, generator range or maybe heater efficiency. Heater efficiency would be nice. We just need 60 wood for that one. We're full up on steel. That's fine. I honestly don't think we're going to need that much steel. Um, that being said, I don't think it would be too big of a deal if we built a large resource depot to hold some more steel. Let's go find our um, steel works. I think these are our steel works. We could put another resource depot right next to there for some steel. Um, okay, heater efficiency has been upgraded. We could get advanced heaters, sure. Just in case we really need it. And let's go ahead and build another large resource depot. We can assign it for steel. Though honestly, I'm thinking more coal and food because we can live without we can live without steel at this point, but we cannot live without coal and food. Uh oh, guys, we're like a day away. We're a day away from disaster. Okay, we can assign this to be coal. We have ten days worth of food. Is that going to be enough to get us through the storm? Oh boy. Here we go. 
Here we go, everybody. The wind, I can't hear my own thoughts. What's this look like? The storm is upon us, everybody. Dropping to negative 90. Okay, the storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. The city must survive. All right, we didn't even try to understand what the storm would bring. What do you mean we didn't even try? We totally tried. We are completely unprepared. That's not true. Regardless, be wary of the falling temperature and try to survive until the end of the storm. Why are they telling us we're completely unprepared and we didn't even try to understand it? We tried very hard to understand it. We sent our scouts out to all those locations. Um, but looks like our cookhouses are too cold to operate. Uh, and we have all this raw food, so I'm going to temporarily turn the heater on. But we need to research advanced heaters for those to work. Any other buildings that are unnecessary, like steelworks, I'm actually just going to pull people off of. Yep, we don't need you anymore. Working there, I should say. Okay, our cookhouses are going to be operative very soon. We just need our engineers to finish researching what's what. Um, let's look at the temperature overlay. Let's turn this to steam level 4. Okay, here we go. Steam level 4. The generator is heating up. Here we go. And advanced heaters have been researched. Okay, so these steelworks, unnecessary. Advanced steelworks, unnecessary. Factory is unnecessary. We're going to unassign workers from any place that doesn't need it. Wall drill, I think, might be unnecessary, though we'll keep people working there for now. They actually are have a livable temperature, so we can continue people working there. We have our coal infrastructure up and going. Okay. Our coal mines are both operated by automatons. Okay, perfect. And advanced heaters has been researched. A tip from a believer, Captain, a woman has told us that she overheard her neighbors talking about hoarding food and other supplies. Some supplies will be recovered. Fantastic. All right, let's continue this. We can turn off any heaters that we don't need. Oh, we definitely need that heater on. Okay. Once we cook up all our food though, we should turn, uh, we should take people out of working the child, uh, out of working the cookhouses. Because we're not, we're not gathering any more raw food after today. Okay, buildings have been disabled because of the cold. These hunter's hangers. That's fine. Um, I need to unassign all these workers because I don't want them sitting in there and getting sick. I'm worried that the game mechanics are going to mean that any workers who are assigned to a building that's not operative will just sit in their workplace and freeze to death. We definitely don't want that. Okay, there we go. So we've unassigned all our workers from their duties there. It looks like it's going to drop another 10 degrees in just a matter of a couple days. Um, do we have anything else to research? I don't think we need anything else at this point. I don't think we need anything else. Oh boy, what does this do? Beacon stereoscopic lenses? Oh, this is probably the research option that, the, that we could have done to get to learn more about the storm. That's fine. That's totally fine. Um, why don't we get coal thumper injectors? Okay, because we're going to start burning through coal real quickly at this rate. Okay, have we completely cooked through all of our food? Pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead, find all of our cookhouses, and assign our workers from there. I'm also going to turn off the heaters there. Okay, danger of collapse. Sir, one of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger that the cold poses to our mines. We're doing everything that we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shafts is so cold now that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. When they do, our tunnels will start collapsing. Okay, please do keep me informed. Please do keep me informed. That sounds 
like not good. Sounds very not good. Okay. Child shelters are being heated currently. Where's our other cookhouses? I need to find our other cookhouses. Here's a cookhouse. I'm unassigning our workers from these cookhouses. I'm turning the heaters off. There we go. Okay. Any place else that we need to heat? Probably these workshops, though. Actually, I think... Uh, I think we'll finish the current research project, and then once we're done with that one, I think we'll just completely un unassign all of those people. Right now, we really just need to wait out the storm. I mean, look how terrible this is. Oh my gosh, it's dropping to negative 100 degrees! This is horrible. The coal mine crisis, the mines are freezing, sir. It's too cold uh, that the hydraulic roof supports in our mines are failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports, but the task is extremely dangerous. Ten volunteers each will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. Abandon the lower levels. The output of all types of coal mines will fall by 80%. No. Um, we need these mines working at full efficiency. We will send volunteers. They may die. But these people will be remembered forever as heroes. True heroes. Okay. So we have... No people working, of course, at the steelworks. Did we take the... Did we remember to take the people off the wall drills? We did not. Let's take the people off the poor... The poor people off the wall drills. They do not need to be freezing in this. Just to gather some, some wood for us. Coal thumper injectors have been researched. Great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unassign engineers from all of our workshops. We no longer need to research things. We want people to stay in their homes and keep warm. Okay. The infirmaries are not maxed out currently. We've lost some, lost some workers to the infirmaries. Sounds like we've had quite a few deaths. Unfortunately. Oh boy, this is kind of depressing. Alright, the infirmaries, we want to be sure to keep warm. So I'm going to turn the heaters on in the infirmaries. Here are all of our infirmaries. We want to keep them warm. We want to keep the child shelters warm. Yes. Okay, I think that's about everything we can do. I think that's about everything we can do. Um, this steam hub, of course, is set to work hours only. I think we can just turn it off. Oh, this steam hub already is turned off. Resume operation. No, it's off. We'll leave it off. Do we have any other steam hubs that are like on work hours only? It's covering, yeah, cookhouses and stuff. Yeah, let's just turn this uh, steam hub off. We don't need to be unnecessarily heating any places that we don't need to. This cookhouse, we can assign no people to. Okay, good. There are houses here though, so we need to keep this steam hub on. This steam hub, of course, is currently heating resource depot and a house. Yeah, we probably need to keep this one on just for the one house. That's fine. Here we go. We're actually doing fine in terms of sick people. I mean, we still have 650 people and we don't have a single person in the infirmary. More hands needed, sir. The volunteers sent to keep the coal mines running weren't enough. There's been a cave-in. Either we send more people to open the tunnels and replace the rest of the supports, or the sacrifice of the first group will be in vain. We will send more people. We can't have their deaths be in vain. Though, if these people die in failure, we will have to accept the failure, because I'm not just going to keep sending our people to their death. That's the definition of insanity, is doing the same thing over and expecting different results. Oh my gosh. We've only got, we lost 15 people there, and 
and we have 60 people in the hospitals. Our hospitals are completely full up. So what I'm going to have to do is turn on the heaters in these medical tents, and I'm going to have to assign workers to work here. There we go. I knew it was a good idea to leave those built there. I could have just deconstructed them, but I had a feeling we may just need those people to save the city. 68 people are being are being treated in our medical facilities right now. Crazy. It's going to drop 10 more degrees. Oh boy. At least we're doing fine on coal. I mean, our food rations, we've got 12 days of food rations and our coal being fully automated as it is, is actually more than able to keep up with the demands we're placing on it. It is negative 110 degrees. All of our houses, even with the generator on full level, are cold. And it's only gonna get colder. Okay, let's see what this says. Mines are operational, sir. The volunteers managed to replace the, coal, the critical supports in the lower levels of our coal mines. Our coal supply is safe for now, but the cost is great. 45 of our people paid with their lives to give us a chance of survival. They will be honored. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and turn the generator into overdrive just temporarily. We just want to temporarily put some relief on our buildings that are all freezing. All those houses that are freezing, we don't want to be freezing. All right. We'll recover some supplies. People are ratting each other out. That's great. Okay, we do need to keep uh, our eye on the overdrive level of the generator. We don't want it to overheat. So we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of um, a little bit of overdrive time, and then we're gonna turn the overdrive off. And then we're gonna turn it back on for a little bit. The care house is too cold to operate. We will go ahead and turn the heater on for that building. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Our child shelters are actually freezing. There's nothing we can do about this, though. It's gonna drop to negative 120. Um, what's happening to all these houses? Why are they all very cold? Oh my gosh. All of our houses are very cold. Our generator just can't keep up. Okay, let's turn back on overdrive, just for a little bit. The storm, darkness before dawn. Sir, one of our engineers has come crashing through the door, white face, demanding to see you. I've run calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. Okay, we have to stay strong. We just need, we just need to make it, okay? Looks like we have one more day. We can last one more day. People refuse to work, let them stay home. A group of people employed at the infirmary refuses to work today. No, I wish we could force them to work. We can't have people refusing to work at the infirmary. We need those infirmaries operational. This is the one workplace that we still have that are critical. We can't have people not working at the, the hospitals. Guess we'll have to do. Okay. We're doing fine though. It's negative 120 out. We actually only have eight sick people, but we're gonna have to turn the overdrive off soon. I'm gonna turn the overdrive off for just a little bit. And here come all the sick people. Oh boy. We're not able to keep up with all the sick people. All right, let's turn back on the overdrive. Let's see what this says. Tip from a believer, okay. We're continuing to recover some supplies that people have hoarded. 
I wish we could employ our automatons in like food collection. Though actually we still have 11 days of food. Okay, overdrive level. We're just gonna have to dance around with the overdrive here. Okay, let's see what these people. Miracles happen, sir. It's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter came back. In the middle of this storm? He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but then they got lost and had to wait for, for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They are both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. Well, I'm very glad we sent him off with supplies, but I don't understand how he made it back in temperatures this cold. All right. And for the last stretch of this, we're gonna have to turn on our overdrive. All right. The storm is coming to a close, everybody. Okay, again, we're gonna play around with the overdrive. We don't wanna completely overheat our generator, but now it is dropping to negative 150. Oh my gosh. Okay, back on overdrive. Just for the last part of this, the storm, we just need to watch that it doesn't get to 100. Oh boy. Is this ever stressful? Yep. The heat map is just showing every single building we have is freezing. 92%. Okay, we just need to make sure that if this gets to 100, it says the generator will explode. I can't imagine the generator exploding at this final part in the game. We made it this far just to have the generator explode on us. Okay, 94%. Can we, can we leave it on overdrive just until the sun comes up? Oh my gosh, we have 543 people freezing. Turn off the overdrive. The game is warning us. All right, we'll turn off the overdrive for like two seconds. Okay, here we go. I'm turning it back on. If 100% is our limit, I think we can we can afford to have it on for a few more seconds. I'm turning it off when we get to 98, though. Okay. The storm ends, the wind dies down, and the temperature finally starts to rise, and eerie silence descends on the city. Okay. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is so much warmer after the storm. It's over, I cannot believe it. It's finally over, we made it. That was so intense, everybody. I'm gonna need you to take a breather after this one. We have survived. We have survived. Are they gonna give me some stats about my playthrough? I would like to know. Oh my gosh, they are giving us a time lapse. That's pretty cool. We can see our city as it evolves over time. We have our little hunting district over here, houses around the main circle, resource collection around the rim. Oh, this is so cool. First, we decided to tighten our belts. Thin soup became our main meal. Yeah, we did do that. It was necessary though. And every day was a struggle. So we adapted. Denouncing infidels, masses of sick, evening prayers. Yet I fear we have gone too far the game is making me feel bad about my decisions. Faith was abused. I made sure that we didn't abuse the faith. The city survived, but was it worth it? Um, excuse me game. We did not abuse the faith. We never established the faith keepers as like law enforcement or anything, but oh well. 1887, New London. 593 souls made it. Significantly more than we came with, so overall net positive. Frostpunk, everybody. 
If you have not played this game for yourself, I highly, highly recommend you try it out. This game is phenomenal, and uh, I'm so glad I picked it up and played it again. Um, one of the most stressful city builders out there for sure. Um, not something you can play hours at a time. Definitely something you need to break up, but oh my gosh, is it ever so satisfying when you win. Um, a little bit sad that they guilted me at the end. I don't feel like I made very many bad decisions. I felt like I was trying to make the good decisions every every time, but um, I guess guess the game, game said no. Um, oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stick around. We'll play some more fun games in the future. I'll see you guys then.